thanks for staying with us. Now, almost every Nigerian wants to leave the country, but do they understand what it means to be a global citizen? To discuss this is none other than the catalytic thought leader and futurist, global influencer Ola Kunle Sharia. It's always a pleasure to have you. Now Thank remember, you. you can join the conversation. Twitter us at Plus TV Africa or at Waysho Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to zero eight one eight zero three eight four six six three. Thank you so much. All the time we call you, and you know, despite the fact that you two have. Exactly. You have relocated. You know, so but we're speaking. I mean, we, we talk about this all the time. Yes. And you know, for us, I I when I listen to you talk about people, you know, migrating from this country to yes. other parts of the world, you know, I I I actually for the very first time now understood with clarity what it means, you know to leave maybe in a first world country and all of that. So can you please help us understand? When we say we want to become global citizens or when we see people relocating, you know, what, what comes to your mind? Maybe let's start from there. Yeah, so first of all, relocation as a concept is outdated. The reason why people were leaving Nigeria 20 years ago, 15 years ago, and even till now, is essentially because they want to survive. Survival is the energy of that commitment. And of course, that puts a ceiling on you immediately because all you want to do is just to stay alive. Mm. You're not necessarily interested in thriving, right? M meanwhile, movement is a human duty, right? Y you have to move. The most prosperous nations in the world are those who showed so much power locally but transcended the limits of their geography. Essentially, when you think about Japan, large economy, probably the third largest economy in the whole world, mm -hmm. But when you think of Japan, what do you think about? You think of Honda, Toyota, Samsung. Mitsubishi, um, Sony, um, Itachi. You can go on and on. Mm -hmm. If you think about Korea, you think about Samsung, Samsung? LG, mm -hmm. Kia, yeah. Hyundai, mm -hmm. you know, Germany, BMW, Opel, Mercedes-Benz, Heineken, Adidas. You could go on and on. The United States, almost everybody in Nigeria can name a U.S. brand mm -hmm. and we won't be tired. The most prosperous nations in the world are those with global brands that are attracting purchasing power from all over the world and bringing into headquarters at home, headquarters in Tokyo, headquarters in the poorest countries in the world. Don't get anything from the world. They consume what the world mm. is making. And so part of the biggest problem in Nigeria is we produce what we don't consume and we consume what we don't produce. There's no economy in the world that can survive on that equation. The same thing goes for Africa and every third world country, anywhere. So we need a new type of thinking. The idea of running away to another country undocumented, hiding, compromising your dignity, take bizarre positions in those societies, marry people you hate, um, <laughs> um, hibernate all your life, I mean, um, dwarf your most um, important dreams and aspirations take a compromise in the name of the pursuit of economics, embrace toil, otherwise called hustle, mm. you know, and lose your meaning and your purpose totally. You will play the majority game pretending to be happy, but you'll be sad and miserable for the rest of your life because you've compromised the passion of your soul to change the world by pursuing economics. So we've left that place of survival. 20 years ago, people leave Nigeria, even till now. The majority always play the weak game, right? So mm -hmm. you always find people play the weak game. They catch up on change late, and so they are the victims and the casualties of change. What has changed is there's no point relocating anymore, right? We are now penetrating, and there are two different things. Relocation is about the oppression of the or. It's Nigeria or America, Nigeria or Britain, so we ignore Nigeria and embrace Britain or Canada or Canada mm -hmm. or whatever or, or America and when you do that you cut yourself small you are banned for about 10 years in the pursuit of documentation you show up about 15 years later with some pseudo type of documentation maybe you've lost your name in the process you've lost your dignity in the process or something then you come back home every five years to come and harass the smaller people you've taken a small job mm -hmm. you're in a low place over there you mix in your Nigerians in America are not in America. They are in Nigeria inside America, Ooh. right? 
most Africans in, in America or in London or in Canada, they are not in mainstream Canada. They are not in mainstream United States. They are in Africa, Nigeria, mm -hmm. inside yeah. America. America. You That's see so kids profound. go go to the United States to school. They come back to Nigeria. There is no white person on their phone. Their friends. They, oh, it's in, it's in Nigeria all Nigerians. All Nigerians. <laughs> so so the idea is, people need to transcend that. We need to see global as a duty. Nigeria needs people, its talents and brain to go abroad. There's brain dream. That is unguided movement of talents abroad. Mm -hmm. There's brain game. That is a deliberate attempt to shift talent intentionally, mm -hmm. to take a stake globally, and then to look at the impact of that on what is going on at home. Mm -hmm. So my goal, my thinking is that um, instead of thinking relocation, we should think penetration, penetration. Mm -hmm. which is ignoring the oppression of the this or that, and then break this and that. Mm. So. You are not leaving Nigeria, so to say. There's a lot going on here, and a lot will continue to go on. But you are stretching mm. your strength globally and picking value and then bringing all of that value home. Back home. There's wisdom in that. That's why you always come back home at yes. least once in a month. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You okay. It, well, well, if I leave you, you can go on and on and on. Um, so tell us now, do you think... It is important for everyone to have this global penetration as I mean, a strategy for, for their I, lives. I, I hear you. Look at my fingers. They are not equal, and it's mm -hmm. not my fault. <laughs> Somebody has to be foolish for wisdom to continue to have money. The wow. community of slaves is a constant. Somebody has to lead them. There's nothing you can do about That's that. That's deep. Right. <laughs> um, if, you, if, you, if you make attempt to eliminate poverty, it's a journey to nowhere. You can only control, alleviate. Right, somebody has to be poor, otherwise there'll be no qualification for wealth. Somebody has to be foolish, otherwise there'll be no way of recognizing wisdom. So, um, and people have to be led as well. There's nothing we can do about those kind of uh, blocks of thinking, right? Now, um, should we all move? We can't all move, even if we all desire to move. Even if everybody is empowered to move, Some because of the f constant, constancy of foolishness, somebody will still, make, he will still not be able to move, right? So that is why there is, life is about, I mean, let me, let me leave that. So bottom line is we don't all have to move, but some of us have to move. move. Okay. For some people, it is their destiny to move. It is their destiny to be global. It's my destiny to, to be, be global. global. <laughs> this, this country cannot give me oh, the attention the and the resources, my individuality, my talent and my gifting deserves. Wow. There's a part of my meaning and my purpose that will be greatly found in Nigeria, mm -hmm. but cannot be taken to its highest place in Nigeria alone. My capacity is for the world, and it is my duty to fight for that. It is my space under the sun. It is my destiny. <laughs> I have to do that. Okay. And I say my that question. to people every time. Visa is not the will of God, mm. OK? It's a human creation. It's a human invention. And because it's a human invention, like every other human invention, it's just like technology. You have the right to use it or to mm -hmm. abandon it. Right. Um, when, when the Bible says words like, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, right? There was no visa in the world. And you're expected to obey that instruction the without the approval of a <laughs> third party. Yeah. Right? When you take yourself to a place where you transcend the limit of a visa, it's not relocation first, it's restoration. You have restored yourself back to that original man. <laughs> hey. To that man that was given the capacity to, to rove the world. Visa oh. is a human invention. It is um, a response to human unguardedness. Mm -hmm. um, borders used to be free, but because of the unguardedness of human choices, mm -hmm. nations have to begin to protect their borders. And, and yes. we got here. Nigeria didn't need visa to so many countries at mm -hmm. some point. So that's our reality. So picking. Yes. So, sorry to put in. How do we achieve that? How do you, an average Nigerian, how do I, Olamide, achieve what you say? There's a lot of, um, the, the best way to, you see, there's no prejudice against value. And when, when powerlessness cannot birth power, Power, they say, 
yes. only recognizes power. Mm -hmm. In fact, superior power. So you can't negotiate your way crying around the world. You have to sit down, articulate your value, and offer it within a value exchange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So America, for example, is not chasing everybody away from America. Otherwise, we won't be there. That's the, that's the impression we all so have. That's not the idea. The idea is, what are you bringing? To the table. Mm -hmm. What value? You don't forget that there's also a history of nuisance mm -hmm. perpetrated by mm -hmm. people like yeah. you and I who have built a nuisance value and impacted that on our past. And it's a very strong so, impact. So, so I, very I hear strong. you. And what I appreciate from, so first from what you said before in terms of not restricting yourself based on, so we were born here, right? We had no choice over that. And because of some diplomatic relations and because some human beings have decided to guard their countries, as you said, they put... And it's their know, right to do and, so. Absolutely. Let's so how it. do we begin to try to create that value? Because what you find is a lot of people want to relocate. Oh, I want to relocate to Canada. Oh, I want to relocate to the US. And as such, they just shut down everything else and just place the focus on how to get there. Because their right. goal is... Survival. Survival. These are all dead bodies trying to enter one coffin. I mean, you don't, that's the way I put it. You, one million times zero is still zero. A lizard, they say in Nigeria, will not become an alligator because it crosses a border. Once you are a lizard, you are a lizard, anywhere you take yourself to, right? right? There is a seed of greatness that resides in you that cannot settle for any form of slavery. The mm -hmm. right to choose the expression of your gifting and your talent. Mm -hmm. And to do so in the most dignified way possible. It's not something you can be taught. It's either it's inside of you. You just mm -hmm. can't be a it's slave. In it. When you are in a king, it. you are a king. Anywhere you find yourself, your royalty speaks to you. And so when you are ready to take better positions in life and become pedestrian in your thinking and in your um, expression of your, of, your, um, of, of your need to win and to thrive and to be commercially relevant or economically relevant, um, and then you have to go do things you will never consider mm -hmm. doing in your own country. You know, it says a lot about who you are. We shouldn't worry about those people. They are a constant. So I'm with Olamide on that one. You know, <laughs> how are we <laughs> going, to, <laughs> going to have so, access to so, 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 traits? Yeah, so <laughs> we shouldn't worry about those people. You know, there will always be a critical mass that will be clueless. Absolutely. They define the validity of their leaders. It's just the way it is. There's nothing you can do about that. So what do we do? Mm -hmm. There are opportunities globally. There are extraordinary ability visas. There are, there are all kinds of visas that you can't even fake, right? There are so many things I'm not going to say online. Absolutely. But um, with the right information and the right guidance, I'm a global relevant strategist. Part of what I do is help people move from point A to point B, whatever those points are. Right, and particularly those points that have global sensitivity to it. Mm -hmm. I believe movement is a human duty. And I believe that talents have to be experienced at a level globally. And so um, when you take your CFA capability, for example, it's a global skill, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot that the world can take from that. And there's a lot of value you can bring to Nigeria because of that particular mm -hmm. skill. You know, so what I'm saying is if you take the best of what you have, profile it properly, uh, put it in the right perspective, and then um, you, there are many opportunities that allow that to happen. And you plug yourself into that, mm. then okay. you, you become a global citizen, mm. basically. Okay, I think we're going to delve into, because part of why we, talk, we were talking about global citizenship was an offshoot of what we had before, a conversation of the Nigerian identity. Yes. So why we understand why people are running away from it, because mm -hmm. of that brand Nigeria. So people are trying, they're struggling to say, you know what, I don't want to identify with this brand anymore, I want a, a better brand. And, but they are going about it, you know, the wrong way. And that was what we thought it was. You know, to bring you because you were very strategic about every plan that you've made in your life. But we're going to continue the conversation after the short break. Great. Stay with us. Awesome. We'll be right back. <laughs>